Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So today we are going to be checking out another video from Tom Segura. I have reacted to Tom Segura a couple of times on the channel, but it's been a while. I'm excited to see more from him. This is Tom Segura, Savage Moments. Without further ado, here we go. How's your son? Amazing, super cute, the most adorable. He's not like Asian baby cute, but he's like right below that. <laughs> and what? I, they were the cutest. Yeah. I, I think they're cuter than bunnies and puppies combined. Yeah. I oh, personally, wow. I would throw away 20 white babies to have an Asian baby. If it was a, <laughs> but before we started, I uh, was wow. not a very good host because I was talking about how empty a life I lead. Your, th your sadness was hilarious. You told me <laughs> about your empty house. That's true. And how you sit in your sadness. And I asked you, what do you consume? Like, what's your vice? Do you drink at night? Are you eating cookies? And you're like, I'm just, I am consumed by my own sadness. Well, and, and I was, was like, really that's hilarious. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. I'm glad yeah. I could bring you up with my down. Oh, like you telling me how sad you are has been the best part of my week. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and looked at my driver's license. I don't know that that was savage, but perhaps it made him feel better about his own situation by hearing about somebody else kind of stewing in their sadness. Sadness can be all-encompassing, and if you stay down in that, I've been there. Anyway. Part of my week. Oh, good. Yeah. And, and looked at my driver's license as we were having this meeting, and it he says I'm 5'11", and he goes, bro, 5'11". <laughs> Hold on. Who is this guy? The fighter and the kid. This man in the white shirt. I'm trying to think of where I've heard or seen him. Oh, that's going to bug me. I've seen him, like his voice, I've heard him speak on um some kind of podcast or discussion i'm trying to think now oh my goodness who it, where did i hear him huh. telling me how sad you are has been the best part of my week oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> and and looked at my driver's license as we were having this meeting and it says i'm 511 and he goes bro 511 <laughs> come on and he shook his head then he stood up next to me and i was like i am i tower over you come on that's ridiculous i tower over you you could eat peanuts off my head <laughs> easily how tall You're are you tom 511 <laughs> <laughs> made a joke i think he might have been on a clip i watched the other day steven crowder or something sorry <laughs> to to me. made a joke and you said, uh, let's build a wall around Louisiana. Right. And that made people, some people, very unhappy. People would be like, no, you, you crossed the line with that joke about building a wall. I'm like, do you understand what time we're living in here? Like, right. do you understand the context? Like, our current administration wants to build a wall to keep people out from, like, quote, shithole countries. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, let's put a wall around a shithole state you know it's like i fly every week i never terrible. buy a first class ticket i buy coach tickets i buy them uh -huh. so much i get bumped up to first class i am telling you the moment i get bumped up to first class i get washed over with this feeling i'm like uh look at these disgusting poor pieces of trash yeah <laughs> I'm so much better than everybody. <laughs> like, don't stand next to me, dude. You're gross. I dare you to come try to use the first class bathroom from Coach when I'm up there, because I will put my hand on your chest and I'll send you back. <laughs> and I'll be like, no, there's a pig trough in the back for you guys. So have fun I've with never that. seen first class. They go to your mom's house, podcast.com. Is it really that much different, first class versus Coach? I've flown. Uh, three flights for basic training and a flight to and from Florida once, but I don't, I don't even know what first class looks like aside from the movies. I don't, I don't know how much different it, how much different it actually is. Your mom's house, Go podcast to com. There's hundreds of episodes. Me and my wife's very juvenile, lots of farts, but you know, oh, it's good. a good time. Well, yeah. That's one thing that makes me happy. You like farts? I do like that. Hold on. <laughs> I feel Sorry. better. I got nothing. Just knowing that something was coming. <laughs> it's good. Just the anticipation. You're the best. I love you. You did have a section where <laughs> I had, to, I had to, you, somebody speaks and I have to guess if it's a black man talking. Or, or me. Not, or you. Tom or black. Yep. Tom really? Black. I like yeah. his weight. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Can we hear hey, it? Hey, yo! Like that. And oh, I have to guess. Dude. Yeah. Hey, yo! Like, that wasn't as good. Let me hear yours. Hey, yo! 
Dude. What is that? That's what not he, a black hold guy. On, what, what are you talking about? What, what are you saying? Guy? He's what? at the University of Miami. You didn't meet him? There's a, it's a black guy. <laughs> I'm half so, so we've been teaching him Spanish because it's part of really his heritage. Peruvian? And I speak Spanish. Cool. And, you know, there's also a utility in knowing Spanish. So many people speak yeah. Spanish. Yeah. And then yeah. my wife's Hungarian, which is fine. And, <laughs> and she goes, I want him to speak Hungarian. I'm like, why? It's like, so he can be an arms dealer or something? Like, what the <laughs> <laughs> now you're saying that you're, you want a, funny. a black. Aggressive shit talker. Aggressive yeah, shit talker aggressive. in tennis. Yeah, that would be the best. And That's an ace, man. Like that? Yeah, like, ain't no double fault. Fuck you. Like that. <laughs> like that. Ain't no Sir, fault. can you please watch your language, please? Eat my dick. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna have to ask you to get over to the to the service. bitch. You were talking about the baby on the yes. Netflix show. How she old did. is the baby? Seven months old. How's that going? It's good. I mean, it's. Very What's up with this get up? He looks like I don't know, like he's hungover or he just smoked uh, way too much stuff, or I uh, I don't I I don't know. He's like it's just, I don't think I've ever seen him wearing shades and a hat. Looking somewhere between a rapper and one of the guys from Duck Dynasty. Baby on the yes, Netflix show. How old did. is the baby? Seven months old. How's that going? It's good. I mean, it's very good. He's very cute. Um, he's not like Asian cute, but he's really cute for a, <laughs> like for a white kid. And um, <laughs> don't you think they're the best yeah. Asian babies? They're oh, so God. cute. Biracial babies. Me, you really beautiful. Mix yeah. it up, yep, really. Absolutely. I like him purebred. I like. <laughs> <laughs> I was a freshman in college and I overdosed on GHB, and like I took ecstasy and I drank. But it's the date rate drug, but What's I gave G it to myself. That's GHB. So That's what GHB is. GHB is yeah. yeah it's you didn't like, really know what you were taking though, right? Doctors ultimately found some stuff in your system that you yeah, weren't Yeah, I mean, sure I knew about. what I was taking because I had taken it before because it's fun to get high. But uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that I shouldn't take a hundred hits at once. <laughs> like, <laughs> have, you, have you heard from people uh, who, who in some way relate to your story and they they yeah get they're like drugs are fun. It. You're right. No. So you host a podcast with your wife. That sounds like a famous mistake. Talking about my wife, man. Oh, I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize to his wife. I apologize to his wife. I'm sorry, Ms. I'm sorry, Senora Segura. I apologize. We don't apologize. Uh, you don't have that out of your system yet, bro. <laughs> What's up with those shoes? That's loud. You tell me. What color are they? What color? Yes. Black. Come on. <laughs> You've been listening. You've no. been listening. No. We've been having a debate all morning because Ariane is wearing the same shoes about whether they're navy blue or black. Look at them next to your black pants. They're black. They're black. Your Come socks on. are blue. Yes. Those are black shoes. Although video can change the colors a little bit. That that looks black to me. I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background. I'm supposed to be able to be have quiet, but it just doesn't happen in this house. We're not. But it's not about them. The shoe's black. All right. Well, that's it. Tom Segura has settled it. I have a podcast, too. Do you know what a podcast is? Yes. Well, why did you take it like that? Because. Some people don't even know. I know. Some people don't know blue from black. A podcast is. I just realized Ooh. recently that I definitely need a hobby because I don't actually do anything. <laughs> like, I do this sometimes, and that's, that's it, you know? The same goes for all comedians. We're either, we're either doing shows or in hotel rooms. And that's a lot of time to kill. And the truth is, you can only watch so much porn before, before you're like, all right, I'm going to watch some more. But right now it hurts. I got to find something else to do. Yeah, something productive. Like, I can't describe how bad bombing feels mm -hmm. to somebody. Imagine <laughs> if a girl said you got weak dick and then like as she said it another girl walked by and was like he does. Like, what the fuck? It's just like a never and ending then, line. Yeah. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of them were standing around like you got the weakest dick. They're like weak dick, weak <laughs> dick, weak <laughs> dick. I go do one of these horrible fucking I like that space he's in right there with these these guys. Dick, weak that is a really really cool space. I like that. <laughs> I go do one of these horrible fucking morning shows. Right? Uh -huh. Seven o'clock in the morning, 
you know, the, 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 the moms taking care of their babies are not like, I'm going to go see this. It's like, it's not the right place to publicize stand up, usually. Right. Which is so, why you did start doing the character called DJ Dadmouth. Comedian Tom Segura, aka DJ Dadmouth. DJ, DJ, DJ Dadmouth. <laughs> it's all about the after party, man. I mean, I want to give a shout out. I've to never heard of this. You are. Tell me really quickly. I'm sorry to pause again. Tell me, um, what was this? Tell me the story to just slow down on DJ Deadmouth. Was that a character he did outside of stand up? Because he's wearing the same kind of get up as I saw him in a moment ago. Perhaps it's from the same talk show, but it just showed several different clips of people saying DJ Deadmouth. So it makes me think it was a thing, you know, like this all alternative or um what the word is for an alternate personality it's all about the after party man i mean i want to give a shout out to kim ann you Who's are that? amazed and uh uh throat zilla throat zilla yeah let's talk about rain real quick man over here cedar rapids <laughs> here man you got a little over an inch that's nothing look at spencer <laughs> spencer man y'all are wet man this is so easy what is this deck Decora? Decora. Decora? They're they not have no point. rain? Or they, you just felt lazy you didn't put like putting in the, <laughs> the total? So we welcome you in this morning. Good morning. What's up, man? Shout yeah. out to Mercer. Shout out to the Bristol stool chart. I had number five. That's soft lobs with clear cut edges because I need fiber. There you go. Tom Segura. Segura. AKA DJ Dadmouth. AKA duct tape. Duct tape? Dadmouth? Du duct tape. Duct tape. Duct tape! Yeah, I, I, that. <laughs> I love duct, duct tape. tape man. They call me duct tape! Because I always have it on me, you know? <laughs> like MacGyver. It fixes yeah, everything. I'll duct tape yeah. your mouth shut. I'll just. Anywhere that you have a, a hole on you, I'll put duct tape You'll on You'll put it. duct tape on it. I duct tape your ass today. <laughs> oh, what is that clip from? Oh, look at this. We'd like to thank our sponsors at Orton Homes. Yes. If you're looking for a house, He's got the duct tape. You have money, contact Orton Homes, and they'll help you get it. And if something breaks, we'll put duct tape on it. Now, I got to ask about the get up here. You were expecting a blizzard in Syracuse, obviously. No, it's just how I roll, man. I roll like this in July. I don't care if it's humid. I don't care if it's 105. I wear you, fur. Because there's an old saying, happy hoes eat, sad hoes don't. And I try to stay happy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Welcome, Ohio native comedian Tom Segura, folks. So, okay, before we get into this. Shout out to everybody all over the world doing their thing and stuff like that. Shout out to Daniacs, XBLB, you know what I'm saying? Got it. <laughs> What's it like at home? It's, uh, it's not a lot of laughs, man. <laughs> a lot of smells. Really? A lot of smells. <laughs> it's a smelly house. We have a baby. A lot of kids. Yeah. Baby. No, it's one kid. One kid, but, but he that sometimes like that's all you need. Kids. That's yeah. all you need. One that's kid. all it takes. Yeah, I mean, look, there's a lot of action in the home too. You know, like I got, I got kids that she doesn't know about. So sometimes when she's out of the house, I'll bring other kids over. Hour long special is right now on Netflix. Net it's presented by Netflix. Tell us a little bit about the special. I watched it last night, and I was telling you a story off air. You started off. It's I'm so curious about what year some of these are from. Like, I've, I've watched quite a few Savage Moments compilations now. And if I had the time, I would seriously consider recreating these or similar or competitive competing ones. But I would put the year on them, like the context, the date, the year just in the bottom corner somewhere because me as a viewer watching a compilation like this I don't know when all of these are from and as far as I know Tom Segura has been a comedian for a while 10 20 years I don't think he's that old um but watching any kind of compilation with things taken from different things I would love to know the date as I'm watching it if I go in to watch it and I have no previous understanding of the clips I'm about to see it would be um to me very helpful and a uh, more mm, just a deeper experience somehow to see when each clip is from let me know in the comments if i were to take the time to do some sort of compilation let's say 
let's see, who have I seen a lot of? I've seen a lot of Dave Chappelle. So let's say I wanted to do a compilation of Dave Chappelle. Would you watch it? Do you think it would be worth the time to do something like that? Because I imagine it takes a lot of time. Um, there's a lot of Tom Segura I haven't seen yet, so I wouldn't be able to do that. Or if you know of compilations with the dates on them, let me know. Anyway, I'm sorry for the long pause. I watched it last night and I was telling you a story off air. You started off, it's hilarious, and then you go into some stories where I, my girlfriend's outside of the room and she goes, Hi, huh, he, he said what? What did he say? Yeah, yeah well. It's, it's, dir it's dirty, but, but it's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, your girlfriend, she'll find out what time it is. It's oh, did I really pause it at the end? It still has another, like, 50 seconds. There's nothing there. Huh. That just tells me when they were editing the video, they had this little thing here that says subscribe at the top and watch. Because when I edit my videos, I used to have a runner at the top that had my social media tags. And so I would put it after the video as I'm, you know, clipping off the before and after I record. And I have to remember to then move it back or the credits to then move it back up against the video file. Because if you don't, you end up having a gap. And depending on how you do it, you can press a key to make it automatically do that. Or you can press a key to leave the, the gap. So I think they forgot the gap. Anyway, that was really good. I enjoyed it. And it makes me want to watch Tom Segura stand up again soon. Because I had really enjoyed it. I had watched primarily clips of Tom Segura. And if I recall correctly... I had started one of his specials. I'll have to go back and look. It's on YouTube uh, on my channel. I have a playlist, Tom Segura Reactions, and it's all of my reactions to him in order. So if you click the first one, it'll take you the first thing I ever watched of him through the most recent. And I had started to react to a full special, but it, it got blocked. I think it was on Netflix, and everything I watch that's based from Netflix gets blocked and I had to keep uploading different versions, so it got blocked for the video. So I tweaked the video a little bit, re-uploaded it. It wasn't enough. Tweaked it, uploaded it again. It wasn't enough. Added some background music. It wasn't enough. I know I spent a while trying to get that reaction on YouTube. And then the video that is up was, you know, altered in order for me to get it on the channel. And then people didn't really... Uh, at least from my perspective, it seems that people didn't really care for it because it was so altered. So I never took the time to watch the rest of the special on the channel. I haven't ever watched the rest of the special, but I would like to. Um, anyway, let me know if there are clips from Tom Segura that are that I must watch or other compilations like this because uh, I want to watch more from him. Anyway, I apologize for all of the noise. I have children and yeah. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.